You look into the house, and the house looks back. Roll for saves. This is episode two. This is going to be the character creation episode. Um, real quick, I want to go over the uh, overlay of my screen. So if you're listening to the podcast, um, hang in there. This is only going to take about a minute. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, though, I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Um, so we have four tabs open. The top left tab is going to be a, a Google drawing where I can keep notes and make a plot map of uh, the story. And that's not really going to be used today. And then uh, to the right of that is my character sheet. Um, today I'm going to make four characters. Um, and then we'll just pick from those four which one I want to be the main character. And then down from there, I have Owlbear Rodeo open for my dice roller. Um, it gives a good, nice visual uh, representation of dice that you can manipulate with the mouse. And then to the left of that, the bottom left side is the Roll for Saves Master Document. Um, this is the uh, December 27th version of it. All right. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is go down to uh, name, uh, name generator. And I have this on my plot generator. Uh, so when you generate people or parks or locations or items, or whatever, you can easily roll up a name. Um, the name generator is very English centric. Um, so if English is not your language that you're playing in, of course you can change out for, uh, add in your vowels, your consonants and such. Uh, I have the vowels, A I O U twice. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna combine them or whatnot to make long vowels or short vowels. And then I have consonants, but I left out consonants that have uh, their sounds doubled somehow uh, elsewhere in the alphabet. So there's no C because C is sim simply a K or a S sound nowadays. Um, there's no X because X is the K and the S sound together at the end or more of a Z sound at the beginning. Um, so those are just gone. I do have J, um, even though G can also make a J sound, but G I'm going to consider as hard G and J as the, uh, default J sound and J is very close to a Z. So I have them doubled up on the 20. So when I roll a 20, I'll decide from there, which one I want. Um, so to use this to generate a name, simply roll a number of D10s for your vowels and then roll number d20s for your consonants. Uh, I'm going to start off with, let's say, three d10s. Um, I got a, a 10, a 4, and a 2. So here are my first character. I'm going to write down that I got a U, I got O, and I got an E. And then under the consonants, I'm going to roll a bunch of d20s. Um, let's start off with five consonants. One more. There we go. Uh, so this one gives me a four. That's a G. I have a 16, which is a Y. I have a one, which is a B. Another 16, which is another Y. That's going to be hard. And then I have a 20, so it can be a J or a Z, whichever one I prefer. I'm just going to put a J for now. Um. So... I'm going to say I don't have to use them all. I could go for Joey. Joey could be cool. Um, very simple name, J-O-E-Y. Um, Ugby. Ugby might be an interesting name. Ugby. I like Ugby. I'm going to have Ugby as my first character. All right. And then I'm going to clear all that and make a second character. This one's going to have, uh, let's do three vowels again. And I hit the wrong dice. There we go. One, two, three. And let's do a couple of D20s. Um, let's go a little bit more vowel heavy. So I'm just going to do two D20s. Um, that is a 19 and a six. All right. So vowels we have are uh, eight, five, and one. That gives us... I, U, A. And then consonants, we have a 19, which is a TH digraph, um, a 6, which is a K, 
And then that's all I hit. I just hit two. I just hit two. Okay. So, uh, thack, thuck, uh, thicka, thacky, thacky, thacky. I'll go with thacky. T H A K I, thacky. Uh, or it could be Kathy, Kathy, K A T H I, Kathy. No, I'm going to go thacky. Why not? It's a fantasy game. Um, and we am going to make two more names here. So uh, it's going to be three more. And let's go very consonant heavy. I'm going to do six consonants. All right. So vowels, we have uh, two, six, and eight. E, A, I. That's a little easier. And then we have 10 and 20. That's going to be a P and a J or a Z. Uh, five and a six, that's going to be an H and a K. And then uh, nine, one, two, three, four, nine is N. Did I miss one? I did. I think I missed a 10. No, I got the 10, four. I missed the four. That's a G. All right. Okay, I can go I and G on the end. Um, and then I put A E together for a long A sound. So, uh, Yeah, slightly Greek. Oh, I like it with the J better. I'm going to do the J. All right, so I got Jafing. J-A-P-H-I-N-G, Jafing. Yeah, that one sounds good. I used up all the vowels on that one. Um, Yeah. And one more name. And that's to... Let's make it a short name, so I'm going to throw... Three consonants and just two vowels in. Uh, P10, or C10. There we go. Um, seven and a six. We have AE. And then we have seven, 19, nine. So L, E, H, and N. Lathen, Lathen, Lathon. Lesson. 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 Late. Late. I like late. I'm going to do late. All right. So I'm going to put the E on the end. Lathe. No. Late. No, I think that sounds better than lathe. Yeah. A L A T H E. You kind of want to stretch it out. Lathe. And then I think L A E T H looks more like a leth. Lath, lath. Okay, so we have Jafing, Lath, Thacky, and Ugby. And I'm going to, I just want to get the names out of the order because that's at the back of the book. Um, So I want to get them out of the way first. And now I'm going to make the characters in turn. So starting with um, Ugby, um, I'm going to determine the background. So background, there are 10 backgrounds. I'm going to do all the characters random. Of course, if you're playing this game, you can pick your background or roll at random, whatever floats your boat. I personally still like randomized characters. Um, so I'm going to roll a d10. For Ugby's background, I got a five. And this gives me um, medical. So something like a nurse, a surgeon, doctor. And we get two skills. And skills are d8s. Oh, that was the old one. Yeah, so skills are D8s. I need to go up and do that in just a minute. Um, so two skills, two D8s. Uh, they should be different, so I'm going to reroll one. Okay, so I got an eight and a three. So the three is manipulate. Um, here, manipulate is like fine manipulation, like um, uh, it could be surgery, medical background, maybe is you know delicate surgeries. Um, but it could also be uh, picking locks, picking pockets, um, uh, wiring up a small device, uh, something of that nature. The other one we got is eight, which is trick. Um, being deceitful, tricking somebody, 
uh, conning them, grifting, um, that manner of activity. And why can I not scroll that way? There. Okay. Um, so I'm doing a human centric campaign and I made it where everyone can have their own, uh, kind of a starting ability. And there are four, we have tough, magical, cunning, uh, deadly. And why don't I have my laser pointer on? Let me turn my laser pointer there. Uh, so tough, magical, cunning, and deadly. So that's simply a D4. Uh, and that is a three. Uh, so that's going to be cunning. And what this does is I can use the magic dice, um, which are kind of like your mana pool. Uh, there's no uh, spell slots like you have in D&D. Um, but you can use the magic dice to... Um, uh, when, you, when you fail a roll, you can roll the magic die and use that as your new result. And your magic die is just depleted. So it's kind of like using your mana to overcome a failure. So uh, re-roll, say, with Power die. They're actually called Power Die now. I changed the name because they're used for more than just magic. All right. Um, so that's half the character already. Um, Ugby, the surgeon, who's also a bit of a prankster, um, or maybe just a constant liar, a constant liar, um, is also cunning. And I need to choose a skill um for cunning. I have to specify a skill. It doesn't have to be one of the skills he has or she has. Uh um, I'm going to say odds it's a girl, or odds it's a boy, even as a girl. Ogby's a girl. Um, so cunning, I'm I'm going to roll a random skill, uh, D8 again. Where's my skills? There are my skills. D8. That's a five. So skirmish. Um, so a little bit lucky on fighting. Um cunning fighter yeah i'll take that um hmm i'm wondering if i should take out deadly then because deadly kind of goes in with that that's no, okay all right um next we're going to do armor grit defense um this is the other half of the character this is where you get into the the number of manipulation uh grit is sort of like um hit points but it's more your ability to avoid injury uh, once your grit reaches zero, if you take another hit of damage, um, it just results in an injury. And then uh, armor adds to your grit, and then all your armor together, your armor and your grit together becomes your defense. So uh, it's going to be a d6 for grit, and that's a two. And then uh, I'm going to roll a coin, and coin is just whatever currency you want to imagine it to be. And you start off d6 coin. And that's going to be a six. So six times 10 is 60 coin. Um, so it's your D6 times 60. And then your power dice, you have a number of power dice. And again, you have a D6. So he has four power dice. And power dice start off with D4s. So you have four D4 power dice. Um, now, to determine your beginning equipment, because shopping is not fun, at least it's not for me. Um, you start off, you add your grit and your coin together, your base roll, so the six, not the 60. So you roll your, your, you add your coin roll and your grit roll together. And that gives you your starting armor. So I have a six and a two. Um, that gives me a total of eight. So I have, say, a plus a one armor and a hat. So I'm going to say it's a, a leather jacket. And uh, I'm gonna have it like a fedora. Uh, oh, what do you call those? Um, those those uh, Macintosh jackets? Is that, is that what they're called? I'll look up the name later. Macintosh uh, raincoat kind of style, um, like you see in like the noir detective shows. And I cannot spell Macintosh. All right. Um, and so the Macintosh jacket gives plus one armor. So that'll be one armor 
And that gives a total defense of three. Not very good, but that's okay. Um, next, because the based on the coin and the uh, power dice, you get your starting trappings. Um, these just kind of random items. So that's going to be six plus four is 10 total. And that means we only get the first trapping from our background. Each background has four trappings uh, or medical. So I have a, a med kit, which has things like, you know, do, uh, gauze, antiseptics, uh, basic medicine stuff. And it's basically medical supplies, only like D6, no serious medicine, no, you know, nothing that's going to like knock somebody out or anything. Um, so med kit, D6. And then last one we have is the grit plus your power dice, which should be a six. Yeah, four, four plus two is six. Um, we get to pick two modifiers for our weapon. And I have a better list of modifiers. I just haven't typed it there yet. It's in the equipment section. Um, so we're going to say she has a scalpel. And... I get to pick two things. Mm. I'm going to say it is fine and throwable. So when she throws it, it's not, uh, it's not a hard roll. And I can't spell the word scalpel. Thank you, Google, for correcting me. All right. Oh. I went down too far. Okay. Well, that is now not ugly. This is all. Oh, yeah. I guess I can cut it there. Let's see. For some reason, I dropped down too far. Uh, go, go, go. Okay. Pardon me. Copy. Paste. Okay. All right, that is Ugby done. I don't know how I dropped down into the wrong character. Okay. Now I'm going to get into, I'm just going to go down and do Jafing next, um, simply because it's easier to scroll. Yep, yeah, that, that's all there is to making a character. Um, I could do a little shopping right now, but it's not necessary. And I actually wrote the items in the wrong list. X, B. There we go. All right. Okay, that's a character. All right. And corruptions are the mutations you get from miscasting magic. So we're not going to get into that yet. All right. So Jafing is next. Um, that's all. So same thing. We're going to get a background. Uh, that's a D10. That's a six. So nautical uh, sailor. Uh, I'm going to throw it again. Odds, oh, it's a male. Whoops. I lost my die. X. All right. Uh, that's an even. Another female. All right. Uh, nautical. Two skills. That's going to be 2d8. That's a six and a one. A tune, which is a skill for using magic and identifying artifacts. And six is study, which is used for research. Um uh intuition about somebody um noticing if there's going to be a, a ambush uh looking for clues and details that sort of thing and oh i need to get their ability that's going to be a d4 uh that the computer says that's a two you know sitting up on the corner so that is magical okay um so i start off with a spell i'll go do spells in a minute and uh, what else do we get? Ah, we are going to do 3d6. Uh, so one grit. That was first, I think. No, four. It says four is first. I'm going to go in order it has on the bottom. So we have four grit, uh, 40 coin, and only one magic die. Wow. You know, I'm going to move those around. I'm going to say... 10 coin, and four magic dice. And I don't have the armor or the defense yet. Okay. And now we get 
the items. Okay. Um, so four plus 10 gives us our armor and such. Four plus 10 gives, not four plus, four plus one, sorry. Uh, five, so one armor and a helm again. Um, da, 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 nautical. I'm going to say she has like a, a short jacket uh, made of leather. Um, sh short sleeves in the elbow, uh, covers her ribs. And that's plus one armor. And what do I have? I had a five? Oh, I've got a helm. So that's a helm, which is plus one armor. And it's probably just like a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Skull cap helm. Just covers her head. Uh, so that's plus two armor. So she actually has six defense. And so she's at six of six. This would be a 4d4. I don't know where that, why that is bold. All right. Six. Okay. And what else does she get? She's going to have oh, I hate this. Why am I making it so I'm going to move this over so I can see what I'm doing. All right. She has uh, trappings is going to be coin plus power dice. It's going to be a 10. So again, only one trapping, which I believe is rope or nautical. Nope. Uh, it should not be that. It should be, uh, should not be jackknife. That should be other one. This one should be a jug of frog. Rope is the second one. And this one's a jackknife. I was thinking like a locking pocket knife and I remember oh yeah they're called jackknives um all right so she has a jug of grog of a d6 before it runs out and her last one she gets is uh grip plus pd is going to be oh everything's really weird here uh her grip was very low why is my thing so weird? All right. I'm having a major problem with my okay. That should be six. And then grit plus PD. Chuck of grog. And grit plus PD is an eight. Uh, so only one thing on the weapon. Um, fine, easy initiative, easy attack. I'm going to say she has a machete. And it has... Mm, does it have a special ability? It's, it's a large knife. It's not really concealable. I'm just going to give her easy attack. Which is pretty powerful. Um, all right, and she's done. Okay. Next, we're gonna do Thacky. And if you're looking on YouTube, I'm sorry for cutting off half the document, but it's much easier to work with a character sheet when it's larger. Um, so Thacky has. Oh, I got to get the spell. The spell for Jafing. Go all the way down to magic. All right. Uh, so we have 10 spells. Mm, that's five. Summon. She can summon something. Um, and I'm going to say she can summon. Uh, uh, like a pet parrot, like a bird, she can summon. And that's it. She can summon an attack parrot. Thacky, 
What is Thacky doing? Thacky, I need a background. Back up to the top. Background, Thacky has a seven. How much time do we have? Oh, yeah, we're fine. All right, Thacky has a seven, which is noble. And then we have two skills. Five and six. I should go ahead and do a D4. That's a one. All right, so Thacky is tough for the ability. Uh, I think I called it defensive. Uh, and I was going to change it from what's there, but I'll work on that later off. And then you take damage, uh, spend, ED, soak. All right, and skills are six and five. That is study and skirmish. All right, looks like a good fighter. Um. I'm going to clear those out, make some space for my six-sided dice for the uh, Grit, Coin, and Power dice. I have a one, five, and six. So mm, I'm going to say five Grit. Mm. I'm only going to give one Power dice and six Coin for a total of 60. That's going to be one D4. And five grit total. I didn't add a per grit. That should be four, five, six total. Oh, two. What am I doing? All right. Concentrate. So we have items uh, five plus six for armor. That's going to take us to just a hat. Bowler. Uh, no armor, but hats are useful. Um, I'll get into that when they come up. And then we need coin plus power dice. It's going to be seven for beginning trappings. That's two trappings. That's the first one. That's under 10 or so. Uh, so cask of fine wine and D6 valuables. And... Uh, valuables. And I'm picturing the cask like a like a small wooden keg, not like a giant keg or a giant cask. Um, like a mini keg. And the weapon for noble, we have grit plus power dice going to be uh six total. That is two. So I'm going to say a uh, rapier, easy initiative, and easy attack. All right. And that's a character finished. All right. We have one more character to make, and we're right at the 30-minute mark, so that's about right. Um, okay. So I'm going to hit uh, D10, a D4, two D8. And this gives us another defensive. Uh, 10 is uh, wild. Well, actually, I'm going to re-roll that d10 because I'm, I want to be city-focused. All right, academic. Very different. Wrong window for typing. There we go. Academic. Uh, skill is eight and three. Squall, uh, not squalid. That's a background. Eight and three trick and manipulate, same as the doctor. So this might be like a an alchemist or something. Um, and then one is going to be defensive again. So I'm just going to copy over there. Copy. So defensive, um, spending magic dice to uh, soak incoming damage. And then 
but only for grit, not really for injuries. What else do I want? Da, da, da. Oh, I got to add these up for what they get. Uh, oh, I got to roll 3d6 first. 5, 2, 1, 4, 3. It says that's a 3. Okay. I'm going to go academic. I'm going to say 2 grit. Uh, 5, 2, 3. I'm going to say 3 coin and 5 power dice. And again, power dice start as a d4. Um, items we're going to have uh, grit plus coin is only going to be five. So one armor and one helm. So I'm just going to put one armor and one helm. I'll think of what they what they look like later. All right, so that's going to be two armor. Total of four defense. Not bad. Uh, 30 coin. So coin plus power dice gives me eight, which is two trappings. Again, uh, da, 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 da. academic two trappings, scraps, note scraps, and fine stationary set. All right, and each of these are D6 supply. And weapon, we have, what is it? Five, six, seven total. Uh, pick one, fine, easy, easy to shift, da, 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 da. I'm gonna say she has, hmm. I'm gonna go with that academic um, alchemist. I think so. And I'm gonna say she has a blowgun. Um, so that's going to be a ranged weapon. And what well, we have, we had six. So I get to pick um, one, one special thing. And I'm going to say special is uh, delivers uh, poison. So she's going to buy some poison somewhere. All right. Um, and that's how you make four characters in 30 minutes or less. Um. That character creation is meant to be fast. Um, gives you your items and everything. Everything's ready to go out the door. Uh, I got to finish up Thaki's armor. Thaki has uh, zero armor, so her defense total is five. All right. Um, that's it for this episode. Next episode, we'll get started in uh, making a character, or not making a character, making the session, the the starting scene, the 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 instigating incident, so to speak. Um, so uh, play games and have fun. Thank you.